Hey what's going on everybody, Jason here and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. Today we have the Season 5 Last Stand cinematic here for Warzone. I'm sure this is also going to be for Vanguard and not just Warzone, but we had Raul Menendez on the thumbnail for this, so this should be a very interesting watch. So I think without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. Here we go. What's going on here? Uh, the transporting. Oh, we were all robbed of it. There's Menendez. Uh, wait a minute. Those so-called heroes left us divided and broken. Wait a minute. That was Rourke. That was Al Assad. And w but they underestimated how dangerous that, we were. That's Sarah from Black Ops Three and Four with a weevil. That mistake. Gives us an opportunity. This looks like uh, the door to hell in Turkmenistan. What, it what is like going on? Powerless. They they dropped something into the into the fire, and then uh, what the hell's going on here? We got butcher and everybody. Okay. All right. What are they looking for? They're looking for that box, maybe. Oh, well, this is, um, Caldera, I guess. Caldera's gonna have a volcano at peak now. Our time, Maybe. My friends. To destroy I, everything I'm they've built. Destroy everything they've built. I am super confused. I, I, I am genuinely confused as to what is happening in this season. So let me get this straight. We have Raul Menendez, Rourke from Ghosts, Al-Assad from the original Modern Warfare series, and Seraph, which is a futuristic character from Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4, are now coming to Warzone. Which at first glance would seem kind of weird, actually, because Caldera and Fortune's Keep don't take place anywhere near the time periods that these characters would exist, but I guess Rebirth Island is right now currently taking place during 2022? I don't really know what's going to be happening with this story, and if this is going to be some sort of marketing tactic for Modern Warfare 2, are all these villains going to be in Modern Warfare 2, or are they just doing this big villains event for Season 5? Because to be honest, I can understand Menendez, Rourke, and Al-Assad being in Modern Warfare 2, but Seraph? That's a very interesting choice. What's very strange to me is that we see in this shot, Seraph is holding a modern weapon, and it kind of looks like the Weevil from Black Ops 3, actually, and this is going to be added to Warzone and Vanguard potentially as a battle pass weapon or something? Because even though the video title just says Call of Duty Warzone, this is a content update coming to both Vanguard and Warzone as confirmed by the Call of Duty Twitter. So I guess this means we're going to be getting modern weaponry and futuristic operators in Vanguard, which is of course supposed to be a World War II game, which is a very strange, very interesting choice to do that for Vanguard. But again, I just have no idea what's going on with this story and why all of these villains are back. I guess we'll have to find out more about it when we jump into Season 5 next week. Well, there you have it, everybody. That is the Warzone Season 5 Last Stand cinematic featuring some classic villains such as Raul Menendez, Rourke, Al-Assad, and Seraph. This particular post-launch story for Vanguard and Warzone hasn't really made a whole lot of sense. We have Butcher talking to Mason, Hudson, and everybody in Verdansk about what he did in World War II, the different task forces going around the world, and stopping the Nazis with Nebula 5 and things like that. Then all of a sudden we had Butcher and Arthur going up against each other for gold when the Mercenaries of Fortune event happened. And now we have a bunch of villains returning with a small cameo from Butcher there towards the end of this cinematic. So this is all very strange and I'd like to know how this all concludes. One theory that I have, and by the way, I have no evidence to back this up, this is all just a thought that came to me, is that because Menendez is the cover character character for Season 5, maybe Menendez turns out to be Perseus in Modern Warfare 2. Because where we're at right now with Warzone, Rebirth Island is currently taking place in 2022. The Nova 6 production has started up again on Rebirth Island, and I don't know about you guys, but someone like Menendez would definitely suit the Perseus moniker. And perhaps Rourke, Seraph, and Al-Assad are his underlings, just like we had with Stitch in Black Ops Cold War with Wraith, Jackal, Naga, and all of those characters. Then they're gonna have to retcon Seraph into Warzone, and presumably Modern Warfare 2. Again, this is just a theory.
Ciri, and then rewrite Rourke and Al-Assad's backstories to get them here. I have no idea what's going on with this story, but I'm looking forward to potentially playing as all of these villains in Warzone. I think it could be kind of cool, especially if they do an event like they did with Titanium Trials, or the Hunt for Adler, or some kind of event like that where you have to do challenges to unlock these operators. I'm not sure if they would go for it or not, but I think it would be pretty cool. But what do you guys think about the Season 5 Last Stand cinematic? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. Also, don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description so you stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night depending on where you are in this crazy world and I'll see you guys next time.